Brothers and sisters, Wallahi, I am so proud, so privileged and honored to be in a beautiful gathering like this gathering. Because this type of gathering is a form of jihad that your enemies hate. Your enemies hate people like yourself, born in Western countries, so far apart from Jerusalem, so far apart from Gaza, but you decided in a night like this night, together in a place like this place, to remember your brothers and sisters in Palestine and to say that we will never ever give an inch away from this land. Wallahi, I am so proud because this is a form of jihad and this hurts your enemy more than a bullet hurts them. When they know young men like yourself, when they know young brothers and sisters like yourself, who are so concerned about a matter they thought they made you forget it but they are wrong because as long as we live and as long as we breathe air Palestine will never ever be forgotten and this is the message that we send clearly to the Zionist Israeli regime no matter where we are even if we are at the other side of the world in Australia or the other side of anywhere Palestine will never ever be taken away from our hearts because Palestine is in our hearts. This Ummah is in our hearts. And Wallahi, my brothers, I do say it. You remembering Palestine, you gathering for Palestine, you thinking of Palestine, you thinking of the Palestinian people. Wallahi, this hurts your enemy more than a grenade, more than a rocket, more than a bullet because this is their main target. They want you to forget it. They want you to be disattached from it. They want you to be away from it. But this night and this gathering sends a very clear message to them. This will never ever happen. This would never ever happen, not to us. Because we are a strong ummah. We are the ummah of Muhammad. We are the ummah of Omar. We are the ummah of Salah al-Din Ayyubi. My brothers and my sisters, we are sad, we are grieved, we are very upset to see what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. When a Muslim wants to defend his land, he is a terrorist. When a Muslim wants to protect his family, he is a terrorist. When a Muslim wants to defend his country, he is a terrorist. But for the Israelis and the Zionists to come and enter this land and take over this land and kill its people, lock up its men, kill its children, block them from their own land, they are considered to be just and peaceful people, democratic people who want to defend themselves. Down with Israel! 54 Muslim countries. 54 Muslim countries! Where are they? They've been bought, yes. They've been bought by the Zionists long time ago. And we were the merchants. We were the purchase and sale. They sold us out. What happened to Abdul Hamid? Sultan Abdul Hamid the 32 he said, By Allah, if you chop me every into every single piece, Wallahi, I would never give up an inch of Palestine. What happened to these people? Allah knows better what's been taking place behind the scenes. My brothers and my sisters, my brothers and my sisters, what's important for us to know that we need to be attached to this case. We need to be attached to them no matter where we are. We need to show solidarity and sympathy to what's happening. Not just saying, Wallahi, I love Palestine. But number one thing that you need to do is to be aware of this case. You need to educate yourself. You came all the way from Australia, Sydney. What did you come here for? What do you have in Jerusalem? What do you want from the Aqsa? Go back home. That I want you to be attached to this place. That I want you to be attached to the third most sacred place to the Muslims. That I want you to be attached to the first Qibla of the Muslims and the first Qibla of the Prophets and the Messengers. But we say it out loud and we say it out proud that we're going to continue to be attached and our children are going to continue to be attached until Allah gives us what belongs to us. Until Allah gives us what belongs to us. What belongs to us? Palestine. Palestine belongs to the Muslims, not the Jews.
The Jews are more than happy to come and live there, but it doesn't belong to them. This is insha'Allah the beginning of the end of this regime. أم حسبتم أن تدخلوا الجنة ولما يأتكم مثل الذين خلوا من قبلكم مستهم البأساء والضراء وزلزلوا حتى يقول الرسول وَزُلْزِلُوا حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مَعَهُ مَتَى نَصْرُ اللَّهِ أَلَا إِنَّ نَصْرَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ أَلَا إِنَّ نَصْرَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ أَلَا إِنَّ نَصْرَ اللَّهِ قَرِيبٌ